and was about a week away, a little more than that, but uh, got me thinking while practicing reloading drills and other random stuff and getting ready. Uh, I have an idea. Let's go talk about it. So, I was thinking about running around as a human player at HVZ. I had the idea, you know, I've only given out five of these. There's, I think, ten more in existence that uh, are sitting in my drawer waiting for a good reason to give them out. And I thought, why not End War? Why don't we give out one? One will be at End War. And if you are the player that turns me from a human player to a zombie player, uh, and you're a viewer of this channel and you let me know, one of these is yours. I thought that'd be a fun little thing to add to the end war experience because uh, it's just, I want these to be special. And I feel like why not add that as something for the end war experience, which I'm pretty excited about, I'm pretty stressed about, but there's still been other things going on. Actually, recently this last weekend, we had a BTA uh, for our local Barrier Foam Sports League practice day for King of the Hill. And it was a lot of fun, I actually record a little bit. There's some drills here that we did that I figured why not share with all of you so you could get an idea for things you can do at home or with friends or whatnot. So uh, let's go ahead and swing into that footage. All right, for this drill, we have two players, one behind each piece of cover, and they're going to be snap shooting at each other to get that muscle memory going to know where to put their shots as quick as possible and present the smallest target they can. Uh, this is a great drill, something you can even do in your backyard, just get a chair or a tarp or something that you can hide behind and then uh, give yourself a target on a, a wall or, or anything and uh, just practice snap shooting. That gets your muscle memory going as to where you need to put your blaster uh, without needing to take a bunch of time to sight things in. So this is one that you can do with a partner or by yourself, which makes it a great drill. So for this drill, Kyle right here is gonna be behind this piece of cover. The player is gonna be running from cover to cover. Yep. This person gets to practice shooting at moving targets. That person gets to practice shooting on the move. He's having a bit of fun running two blasters though. <laughs> the idea is you'd normally be running one blaster and you switch your dominant firing hand depending on which direction you're running, but uh, he had to make it a little different. I swap left you you had to have some fun when I'm trying to film <laughs> and show what the drill's all about. No, let me I just go, let me just go Kimbo. Yeah, it's whatever. Don't worry about it. Making me look bad. <laughs> All right, so I just swung by the post office just in case, check the P.O. box, and I've got a couple packages. One of them is heavy, I'm, and this is, I don't know what those sounds are. I'm excited, I'm very curious. We've got other stuff to open anyways, so. Okay, so there's a decent amount of stuff to open. So let's start with the stuff that I know what it is. Um, that would be, first up, let's just, grab this package right here. Uh, I know this is from Jet. They got in contact with me and asked if I would like to take a look at their new versions of the Katana mags and I said yes. Yes I would. Ooh, these are... well these are a little bit... a little smushed. Um, they shipped them just just the bag. Uh, I don't think the ones I purchased were shipped this way a while back when I bought the original ones. I can't recall for certain though, I have to go back and look into that, but uh, these are definitely a bit smushed in terms of packaging. The, the mags themselves don't seem to be damaged, but um, I'm going to have to let Jet know that, that this could be an issue for them. Uh, that they may want to ship them out with some padding or in a box when they do, but let's, let's take a look at these really quick though. Still a little kind of, if you've used the Katana mags, the original ones, you know there's a little bit of give to them, a little flexible. Still a little bit of that. Maybe not quite as much though. Um, I have heard these do come pre-lubed, though I may be swapping things out and switching to a dry lube after talking with several people that have recommended it, uh, as opposed to the super lube I've been using, which is maybe good in certain things, but not for something that would be coming in contact with darts. 
that could lead to issues, especially if I'm going to be using them in flywheels because you don't really want lubricant on your darts getting in contact with your flywheels because you want friction, not slipperiness. Um, I, I heard that these, these are a different material. I'm going to have to look into that to find out for certain. We're obviously going to do uh, a deeper look into these at some point, but uh, I just wanted to get a feel for them right now. I really like the clear adapter. Really like this. This is going to be going in something. I'm not certain yet, but uh, let's, let's take a look at the other one really quick, then we'll move on. Like I said, we're going to take a deeper look at these in the future. This is like the transparent black, smokish type color. Um, it's almost slightly, slightly like a bluish black, almost. Not super noticeable, but just something that kind of caught my eye. It's it's a cooler shade, and I dig. I'm not the biggest fan of the transparent black or black stuff. It it doesn't look as appealing to me, but that's just my personal preference. These do feel good. Where's uh? Of course, my Caliburn's over there and not here. But I do have this, which is the tungsten katana mag adapter. Let's see. Pops right in and out. No problems. I mean, it, it looks all like the same mold right off the bat, but whether or not there's actually any changes, again, we'll find out in the future. Um, hopefully these perform well. I'm, I don't know, that, that sound, that loose sound always gets me, but uh, it makes sense because you don't want something so tight that it's not going to move. But uh, let's let's not get too hung up on these. Let's move on to the next thing. And we will talk about these maybe later this episode, maybe another episode. But I do think it's cool that, that we're going to have more options in terms of colors for Katana magazines. Now, this is the stuff that really interesting. This is way heavy. Every time I pick it up, I expect it to be lighter. And this, I assume, is from the same person, both of these packages, because they both appear to be something ordered on Amazon that has uh, the name addressed to Jangular Pants. I don't know what to expect. I don't know which to open first, to be quite honest. This, uh... Okay, that sounds like Lego. That sounds like Lego to me. I feel... What is this, then? It's so heavy. Okay, we're opening this first. I, I feel like we should open this the big one first, but I, I'm, I'm just super curious because it sounds like Lego and I have to know. <laughs> it was not Lego, not Lego at all. It's a bunch of whistles. I think I know what's in here now. I have a feeling. Okay. I have, I have, I have a hunch. We're going to find out together. And this may come right after our last BTA uh, event here at the Bay Area. So our, our local league uh, for the BTA is the Bay Area Foam Sports League. We are BAFS and we are a BTA league. And this is, I'm sure, what I was thinking. This has to be from Foam Blast. This has to be from Foam Blast because they said they would look into this and they may do more sandbags to hold down our cover. So we play on a field that is often uh, a little dry, so it can be hard to drive stakes into the ground to hold things in place. So we have sandbags, but not enough sandbags. We wanted two for each, we only have enough for one for each. Now we have more. Was it 16 more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I can't be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 16 more sandbags. That is awesome. Thank you. I, I, this has to be from Foam Blast. It doesn't say, but it has to be. So thank you if it's not from Foam Blast for some crazy reason that someone overheard. But uh, thank you. That's awesome. We've got more supplies for BTA. I'm excited. I'm gonna go 
start working on uh, some of this maybe, seeing what I'm gonna put inside of it, and start looking at these and start testing these. So let's go do something else. You may have noticed there was one package that uh, did not get opened. It's because we're gonna talk about that in an entirely separate episode. I wanted to give that a little bit more time and do some stuff before talking about it. But before we close out for today, I just want to give you a couple updates on things. I still don't know what's going on with my camera. They still have not completed the repair of it and I'm getting a bit freaked out that I won't have my main camera for filming at Endor. It is the easiest way to film. The autofocus on it is great, or at least it has been great. Um, but I'm gonna bring my DSLR and, and fingers crossed, you know, it gets here in time. I mean, most of this episode has been filmed on my phone. So I'm just making do with what I can that uh, make these things happen. So they, they have not been to the quality I want them to be. There's been no real fun kind of cut between scenes or uh, little montage sequences. None of that for this episode. But um, hopefully once I get everything back and can focus and whatnot, uh, I'll be back to the way I want to do these things. On that note, the videos are probably going to be a little bit sparse or lighter like this one until after End War, but I do still want to get stuff out to you to keep you all updated on what's going on and what I'm working on and how things are going. So uh, I will try to keep that up with all of you. But like I said, I'm excited for End War. Even if I am stressed and panicked and freaking out, I am excited for it and I'm looking forward to it and hopefully meeting a bunch of you. So with that said, let's close out for the day. I'll see you next time.